Hey friends, Elizabeth here from Plant Based Bride and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm setting up my husband's bullet journal for August. As I've mentioned before, with everything happening in the world this year, my husband's work life as a freelancer has been greatly affected. So he took a bit of time away from bullet journaling. And when he picked it back up again, he asked for simpler setups because he hasn't been needing quite as much space, nor has he been needing some of the more specialized spreads that we've done in the past. So my routine lately has been setting up a cover page and a one page calendar, and then creating a header for his notes pages, which he uses basically as a running daily log and for notes of course, as the name would imply. So for August's theme, I decided to do something inspired by something that is very Jason to me. Ever since I've known my husband, he has had these vintage 50s, 60s jetliner suitcases that he's used as briefcases, as his suitcases when he goes on trips, to carry his audio gear to gigs. He's always had this little collection of these vintage suitcases and they very much represent to me his style his vibe. And one of those suitcases is here on the table. You can see it's this really cute mustard yellow one. And I thought it'd be fun to do a theme inspired by and in reverence to the Jetliner suitcase. So all of the lettering in the setup is inspired by the lettering of the Jetliner logo. And then I decided to create some art of three stacked Jetliner suitcases on the cover page. This is a really simple setup, but I feel pretty proud about how it came together. And I do feel like it evokes the vibe of the vintage jetliner jet setting lifestyle. I made a couple little mistakes while doing this setup and fixed them. I used a little bit of my white gouache that I mixed with a tiny, tiny bit of a beige watercolor that I already had mixed in my palette to create a color as close as I could to the page color of these Dingbats notebooks. It dried down a little bit darker than the page, but for the most part, I think it's a pretty good solution. For the suitcases, I'm starting off with doing the black accents, the line art. And once that's dry, I'm going in and adding the colors for the suitcases. I'm also really happy with how much space I've been able to give my husband on his monthly calendars, even on a single page in an A5 size notebook. He's let me know that this size is totally sufficient for what he needs it for, and that's really awesome to know. I'm sure once things open up again and he's out working all over the place and really busy, he'll want a two page spread again so that he has more room to write out everything that's going on. But especially recently, this single page has been more than enough. I decided to use pencil crayons for this for a more gentle, faded, vintage-y vibe. I decided to make the little suitcase yellow because his smallest suitcase is a yellow suitcase. I decided to do the medium one in brown and the largest one in an olive green. He does have a larger brown one, but I don't think he has any green ones. Then for the metal accents, I used a silver marker and let that completely dry before going on top with my fine liner to add the details. So I'm adding the little latches that open and close the suitcase. And then of course I'm writing in the Jetliner logo on each suitcase. I had to switch to an even finer tipped gel pen because even the 005 Secura Micron pen that I have was not fine enough to write small enough to fit in that space. 
Once all of that was dry, I flipped to the next page, which is the start of the notes section. And I decided to keep it really minimal, really simple, just to write notes at the top in that same font inspired by the Jetliner logo. And I really like the simplicity. Sometimes I like to go over the top and get really creative, really artistic, but this time I wanted to keep it super simple, nice and easy, and my husband really likes it. So that's all that matters, I guess, in the end. So I hope you enjoyed this really quick, really easy set up. You can of course do this with any style of suitcase, do a fun little vintage travel inspired theme. There are so many different ways to do it. So let me know if you end up doing a vintage travel, vintage suitcase theme. I would love to see your spreads. Of course, if you haven't seen my August plan with me in my own bullet journal yet, go check that one out. It is very different from this setup and possibly my favorite theme I have ever done in my own bullet journal. So definitely check that one out. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. And with that, I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye friends. I want to take a moment to thank my patrons for their support. Extra special thanks to our newest patrons, Haley and Emily. Welcome to the squad. We're so excited to have you. If you at home want to join the squad, feel free. There's a link in the card and in the description box down below. And if you're looking for something else to watch, I recommend you check out this video or this video.